Shalom Israel, Mosai Christ blessed. This is 15 minutes with the captains. I am Captain Amaziah. With me today, I have Officer Jadio. Officer Jadio. So we're gonna get into a lesson today. The topic of the lesson is slander, gossip, and judging righteously. So let's get into the topic. Proverbs 18:21. Let's start right there. This is Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 21. Death and life are in power of the tongue. The Bible says, brothers and sisters, death and life is in the power of what comes out of your mouth, in the power of the tongue. You have the ability to build a brother up or tear a brother down. Go ahead. And they that love it. And they that love whatever's coming out of your mouth, read. Shall eat the fruit thereof. Shall eat the fruit thereof, meaning they're going to believe it and they're going to run with it. You can put spirits on brothers and sisters based on what comes out of your mouth. You can hate somebody based on what comes out of your mouth. You can exhort and love somebody based on what comes out of your mouth. Let's go to 1 Peter 3 and 10. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 10. First Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. For he that will love life. He that will love life. And see good days. And see good days. We all want good life and good days. How do we get good life and good days? Let him refrain. Refrain his tongue from evil. You see how you get good life, brothers and sisters? Refrain from speaking evil. Refrain from speaking evil. Refrain from slander, allegations, gossip, false information, false reports. Read it again. For he that will love life and see good days, uh -huh. let him refrain his tongue from evil. The Bible says, refrain your tongue from speaking evil. Go ahead. In his lips that they speak no guile. That, that they speak no guile, no evil is supposed to come out of your mouth. That's how you receive good days. Go ahead. Verse 11. Let him eschew evil. The Bible says, hate evil. Eschew means to hate. E-S-C-H-E-W. Eschew. Hate evil. Let that brother that doesn't speak evil hate the evil. Go ahead. And do good. And do good. Let him seek peace. So your job, brothers and sisters, is to seek peace. How do you get peace? Don't entertain allegations, slander, gossip. Go ahead. And ensue it. And ensue it. Let's go to Proverbs 6 and 16. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. 6 and 16. We're going to read through 19. Through 18. Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 16. Read. These six things that the Lord hates. So the Bible says, there's some things in the earth that God hates. So yes, God does hate. There's some things that he hates. And it's in his holy word. Let's see what God hates. Go ahead. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. Seven are an abomination unto him. Filthy, vile, disgusting to the Lord. Read. Verse 17. A proud look. A proud look. A lying tongue. A what? A lying tongue. A what? A lying tongue. The Bible says that's God hates you being a liar. How can you be a liar? Being slandering a brother. Oh, this brother, I saw this brother do this. I saw that sister do this. Oh, this brother said this. That sister said that. Being a slanderer, a liar. Go ahead. And hands that shed innocent blood. Hands that shed innocent blood by your lying lips. Go ahead. Verse 18. And heart that deviseth wicked in imagination. What is it? What? And heart. A mind. That deviseth wicked imagination. A mind that deviseth wicked imagination. How do you devise wicked imagination? Oh, this sister did this to me. That brother did that to me. Meanwhile, they didn't do nothing to you. Let's go to. Keep reading. Feet. That be swift and running to mischief. And, and the, the dummies that will take that if that slander or allegation and entertain that slander and allegation, now you're running to the mischief. Now you're entertained by slander. You're entertained by allegations. You're in the midst of sin when you do these things. Let's go. You said verse 19 too. No, no, no. Right. Now, I'm going to give you the definition of the word slander. Now, matter of fact, give me Proverbs 10 and 18 first. See Proverbs 10 and 18. Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 18. He that hideth hatred. He that does what? He that hideth hatred. If you are a brother that has to see another brother or sister every Sabbath, and every Sabbath you shalom them, 
like it's nothing. You smiling in people's faces. You secretly recording stuff for years on top of years, and you're holding these. One day of a tone passed, two day of a tone passed, three day of a tone passed, four day of a tone passed. Guess what? You don't believe. Read that again. He that hideth hatred. You, you are hiding your hatred. You are dealing falsely with brethren by doing those things. Go ahead. With lying lips. With what kind of lips? With lying lips. You're a liar. Go ahead. And he that uttereth a slander. And he that does what? Uttereth a slander. A utter a slander is a what? Is a fool. <laughs> and a lot of you listen to a lot of foolish slander, allegations, um, gossip. That's what you do. So here, I got the definition of the word slander. A malicious, false, and defamatory report. I'm going to read what the definition of slander is again. A malicious, false, and defamatory report. That's the definition of the word slander. And a lot of Israel likes to entertain slander. You entertain allegations. You entertain gossip. You entertain evil speaking. And you enable the men, the men and women that do it. You enable them when you entertain that gossip. Let's go to Exodus 23 and 1. Let's go to Exodus. Exodus chapter 23 and verse 1. Read. Thou shalt not raise a false report. See what the Bible says, brothers and sisters? Do not raise false allegations against other brothers and sisters. That's what God said. If there's something you don't know, then don't, but you're entertaining it, you're entertaining false reports, your job is to leave that garbage alone. Your job is to cut it off. Read it again. Thou shalt not raise a false report. The Bible says don't slander. Don't make allegations. Right. That's what God said. Read. Put not thine hand with the wicked. Do, the, the Bible says don't put your hand with the wicked. Don't put your hand with those making those allegations and slander. To be an unrighteous witness. To do what? To be an unrighteous witness. Because now that spirit's going to jump on you where you now start speaking evil against men and women you don't even know. Read on. Verse 2. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. So you see a multitude, a multitude jumps on the bandwagon and, and, and says, yeah, this brother's evil too. You know what? I'm going to, I heard what everybody else said. So, and I never spoke to the brother about the situation. So I'm going to jump on the bandwagon and say he's evil too, based on what other people said. No, the Bible says prove all things, brothers and sisters. You got to prove that this man is wicked or this sister is wicked. You can't just jump on the bandwagon just because ev everybody else with the last name Israel jumps on the bandwagon. Go ahead. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Let's go to Acts 6 and 8. I'm going to give you now an example of a false report, brothers and sisters. Let's see if that ever happened in the Bible. Acts 6 and 8. Acts chapter 6 and verse 8. And Stephen. So we're talking about Stephen, right? Remember, Stephen was stoned, right? Let's go. Full of wrath. I'm sorry. Full of faith. Stephen and, was full of faith. And power. Uh-huh. Did great wonders and miracles among the people. So Stephen, this mighty man of the Lord, was doing much work for the nation of Israel. Sort of like how IUIC is doing much work for the nation of Israel. Let's see what happened to Stephen for doing all these great works. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, uh -oh. which is called the synagogue of the Libertines. Libertines. Cyrenians. And Cyrenians. Alexandrians. And, and Alexandrians. And of the Cilicia, 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 and of Asia, disputing with Stephen. What were they doing? And disputing with Stephen. Here comes the, oh, the, your doctrine's wrong. We got to bring in this doctrine. Your doctrine ain't right. Oh, your 12 tribes chart ain't right. Oh, this ain't right now. All of a sudden, this ain't right now. Now you can smoke weed. You can do all kinds of evil now. No, 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 you guys ain't got it. Read. And they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. So let's talk about Stephen. They weren't able to resist him. Go ahead. Or Verse overcome him because of his wisdom and the spirit that he was rolling in. Read. Verse 11. Then there's a born men. Stop. 
The Bible says, then they suborned men. They suborned men. You know what the word suborn means? It means to bribe. They bribed men. They paid men off. Hey, hey take the Judas, take, take the Judas piece right here. Take the purse, the Judas purse, I mean. Take the 30 shekels of silver. They bribed men, read. Which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. Sort of like today. Sort of like today. So here you got brothers and sisters that speak evil about situations they don't know about or make up stories and all Israel will follow the multitude of the wicked to follow along with that evil. Read. And they stirred up the people. What did they do? And they stirred up the people. Same thing going on today, read. And the elders uh -huh. and the scribes and came upon him. They came upon Stephen. And caught him and brought him to the council. Read. And set up false witnesses. What did they do to Stephen? And Look, set, what did they do to the man of God that was in the spirit doing God's work? And set up false witnesses. They set up false witnesses. What are false witnesses going to do? Make allegations against him. Read. Which said, this man see, sees it not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place in the law. Read. Verse 14. But we have heard him say that Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. That, wait, 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 wait. What did they say that, that Stephen did? Read it again. For we have heard him say. We heard Stephen say what? That this Jesus of, that this Jesus of Nazareth uh -huh. shall destroy this place. Shall destroy this place. And shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. Which Moses delivered us. Go to, hold that. So this is this is the allegation now. That's these are all allegations, false sayings against the prophet of the Lord. Let's go to John seven twenty four. John seven twenty four. Let's go. John chapter seven and verse twenty four. Judge not according to the appearance. Read. But judge righteous judgment. What did, what did Christ say? But judge righteous judgment. Brothers and sisters, your job is to judge righteous judgment. Righteous judgment. Not hear somebody talking foolishness online and run with it. Or a well-made well -made video where it's going to give you the perspective, the perspective of evil based on, based on a well-edited video. Your job is to judge righteous judgment. Prove all things. You can't prove all things if you're only hearing one side of the story constantly. No, you have to hear both sides of the story constantly, okay? Equally. Leviticus 19, 15. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 15. You shall do no unrighteousness in judgment. The Bible says, brothers and sisters, don't do any unrighteousness in judgment. The judgment you pass, you cannot be unrighteous in your judgment. Let's go. Thou shalt not respect the person of the poor. So just because a person is poor or or down and out, your job you cannot pass a more lenient judgment based on his that status of him being poor. Okay, go ahead. Come on. Nor honor the person of the mighty. So you can't so now you got a brother or sister you gotta pass judgment on, and they're a mighty man or a mighty woman in the body. You can't slack on your judgment based on that okay let's go but in righteousness but what but in righteousness what is righteousness brothers and sisters keeping god's laws but in god's laws shalt thou judge thy neighbor your job is to judge your neighbor based on god's law so let's get it deuteronomy chapter 17 verse 2. so the bible says brothers and sisters judge in righteousness okay let's see how do you perform that action here this is Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 2. If there be found among you within, within any of the gates which the Lord thy God giveth thee, man or woman, that hath wrought wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God in transgressing his covenant. Breaking God's laws. You find somebody now breaking God's laws. Let's go. Verse 3. And hath gone and served other gods and uh -huh. worshipped them, uh -huh. either the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven, uh -huh. which I have not commanded. Uh -huh. And if it be told thee, and thou hast heard of it, and inquired diligently, and, be, and behold. Oh, 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 hold on. 
It says, read that verse again, verse 4. And thou hast heard. No, from the top. Verse 4. And if it be told thee. And it be told thee. It, now, if somebody brought the information to you, such and such did this. Such and such did this sin. Let's go. And thou hast heard of it. You hear the sin. Somebody told it to you. And inquired diligently. And the what? And inquired diligently. Your job, your job, your job, brothers and sisters, is to not run with what was told to you. Your job is to inquire diligently. Read. And behold, it be true. The only way you find out if it's true is if you inquire diligently. Don't run with somebody because that's your homeboy or your homegirl. Or you cool with this one and that one. And you take their word and that is fact. Okay? That is ironclad. No. Your job is to inquire diligently. Read. And the thing certain. And the thing certain. That, now, is, now you know it's true. That such abomination is wrought in Israel. Now the thing is true. Then. Only after that. Only after you find out that is true, shalt thou bring forth that man or that woman which hath committed that wicked thing uh -huh. unto thy gates, even that man or that woman, and shalt stone them with stones till they die. Now, in the Old Testament, that was the judgment passed. Under Christ, now you have mercy to do what? To repent, brothers and sisters. Hold that. Give me, give me, I'm going to go Acts 13, 30 real quick. Just to prove that. Acts 13, 38 through 39. Let's go. Acts chapter 13, verse 38. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins. Through Christ is preached to you the forgiveness of sins. And by him and by Christ all that believe, all that believe are justified from all things. Are justified from all things. So if you was in that sin under the new covenant now, you can be justified from that sin by repentance. Read. From which you could not be justified by the law of Moses. Because some sins you was commanded to be put to death. All right, Israel. So we pray you learn something. You learn about slander, evil speaking, gossip, and how to judge righteously and, and decipher that thing and discern that thing. All right. So with that, Israel, I'm Captain Amaziah. Officer Jadio. And we say Shalom. 15 minutes with the captains. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.